Hey guys, this is Rich from Pacific, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about setting up your Sampire in EC or Enhanced Client in Ultima Online. So, here's the thing if you're still playing with Classic Client, you know, you can probably make it work and more power to you. I'm very glad you're still doing it. Uh, there's a lot of good things about Classic Client. But in general, with the Sampire, you really want to... There's so many advantages to using EC that it's it makes it kind of hard to, to play it properly without it. So I'm just going to go over some of the settings you might want to look at when you're setting up your enhanced client um, for Sampire or pretty much any melee combat character. Um, so first thing, you, you know... This is not, you can set it up however you want in terms of layout. It depends on what size screen you have, etc. I like to kind of maximize my play area. Um, and one of the most important things you want to be aware of, especially if you're new to EC, is that there's the targeted, the targeted box. So whatever you're targeted will appear in your targeted box. So I keep mine locked kind of right here. So if I select a target, I select any item, um, Timberwolf, Black Bear, it'll change in that area. So that's something you want to be aware of. Make sure that it's visible and not, by default, I think it puts it up somewhere behind the play area. So you want to make sure you find that and put it someplace safe. Um, lock it to an area. Uh, the other thing is you want to kind of, you want to make sure that your um, buff and debuff zones are laid out so that you can see them clearly. You want to know when your um, certain curses or certain buffs are available. So it's nice to have them uh, front and center. And also when you're in war mode or not. So um, I this is how I lay mine out. However you lay yours out, just make sure that all these things are present. Um, as a Sampire, you're going to need basically a whole keyboard's worth of hotkeys. Um, so... I like this layout where you kind of stack them at the bottom. Some people go up along the sides. You know, whatever works for you. Um, that's actually not what this is about. Um, but as you can see, I do have um, quite a few hotkeys, and I use them all pretty much. Um, there are some basics when you first get started with EC. Um, things that you want to change that make your life as a warrior, especially for Sampires, um, a lot better. So what I always do first is I'll go into my user settings and under options, um, this is not turned on by default, but there's an option called always attack. So it says while in war mode, your character will automatically attack any mob that is selected. Um, so this is super handy. I use this, this is pretty much how I fight, is I'll use always attack. Um, in combination, I will go to the input tab and I'll scroll down and I'll find the option for next nearest enemy target. So there's nearest enemy and there's next enemy. So I, I like the tab key because it's something I just hit all the time. It's where my fingers rest. So I just nearest enemy is going to be tab. Um, and then what I'll do is next enemy I'll set to tilde, which is right above tab on the US keyboard. So um, these are super important. This is basically how I'm going to s constantly stay attacking. Um, I don't want to have to f click on things or pull up hot bars or any of that. I want to just basically hit a button and, and move. So that's pretty much the key there. A combination of always attack and nearest or and next enemy. So another trick that somebody showed me um, in EC is you can actually set the scroll wheel up and down to be target last or target next. Um, this is really helpful. Um, so to kind of show you that in action, I'm just run into a little spawn area here. And so see there's a bunch of them. Now I can, right now I'm not in combat mode, so I can scroll through them. And you can see my target cursor is changing. And not all of them are attacking me because not all of them are aggressive mobs. The beetles aren't. So, but if I go into combat mode and I start scrolling, 
Notice they're all on me. So this is a tactic you're going to do a lot in spawns, is you're going to get, you know, especially these non-spellcasting mobs, you're going to get massive groups of them following you. And then you kind of decide where you want to fight. Hit tab, and then whirlwind, tab, whirlwind, tab, whirlwind. Basically allows you to kind of just mob through. Now sometimes the targeting doesn't work through the terrain, so that's why I hit next. So I'm just basically hitting tab and whirlwind. Tab, whirlwind. And you kind of get the timing down. So you can see right there that just an EC, I haven't clicked on a single mob. I've just run around and pressed a couple buttons. Um, for some reason there's a kraken and a water elemental in the middle of this forest, but you get the idea. So I just wiped out pretty much a whole screen of, of mobs right there, just using tab in whirlwind with a radiant scimitar. Um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, there are some macros that um, I recommend having. Um, so there are a lot of specialized macros that I use for like roof and changing weapons um, and you know potions, etc. But some core basic ones that you want to add to your um, samp right away is you want an honor current. So this is a simple one where you use the honor, it waits for the target, and then it cursor target current. Um, so how that works is um, you just, like I showed you before, you just hit tab or hit your nearest enemy, and then I hit honor, and then it honors it. So I don't have to open up honor, I don't have to do any of that, it's just a macro for it. So super helpful, especially when you're um, trying to build honor. So another um, super helpful one is um, sorry. Is honor self is useful? Oh, here it is. Mount. Okay. So the thing with mount is um, I just found this out recently because I was having problems with virtue bane and other monsters that would dismount me and then I'd have to kind of leave combat mode, double click on my, um, you know, it was just a big pain in the butt. So I stumbled onto this. In EC there's an option that says target swamp bane or dragon mount. So uh, since I'm using a swamp dragon, um, I use that and then you use targeted object and then you actually set the target to current. So it's, it's kind of interesting, but um, this allows me to have, basically, see, I'm in combat mode, and I can just hit a button, and I mount my, without attacking my my mount. So super helpful. Somebody showed that to me, and uh, I was very grateful. Uh, there was one more, oh, open heal. So this is another one. Um, one of the healing techniques you can use as a vampire is, is confidence healing. It's usually just kind of a, last minute resort or you do it while you're running but um, I also like the macro for opening the door so I combine the two so now basically I set it to spacebar and I can just run up to a door hit spacebar and I'll either heal and or open the door so it's kind of a, a handy macro to have um, some others you know I kind of lay out the primary and secondary attacks um, always on the same key between my characters so it just helps me so I don't have to remember different um, with a sampire basically any samurai um, you're gonna want to use evasion quite a bit so I set that to a mouse button um, the rest of these are pretty self-explanatory I do have um, a button to um, for my various uh, slayers so I kind of try to set those up one kind of interesting thing about these is that you can actually add multiple items so like if I hit the one key it's gonna equip my undead weapon and my undead trinket so that's kind of a, it's like a handy tool um, let's see if there's anything else in here uh, oh the last thing is um, 
I stumbled onto these later. Somebody showed this to me. Um, often overlooked, the agents in um, Enhanced Client are pretty pretty nice. So one thing that you always want to do is usually set up the scavenger agent for gold. So um, this is kind of nice. So if you're in a spawn and a whole bunch of gold, you see people picking up gold stacks and putting them in and double clicking, etc. If you set up the scavenger agent uh, for an item, when you hit control and shift, if that item is around, it'll pick it up. So um, I'll see here if I add by type. I think I have to pick it up first. So I added blood moss. If it's on the ground, I simply hit control and shift and it picks it up and it puts it. You can also set what um, container it stores it in. So I normally what I'll do is I'll set a container for these and I use this macro a lot for things like roof which I'll go into more detail in the roof uh, videos but I'll set up all the canal types for the fountain I'll set up um, the items um, the bottles in the bar or the whatever that is in the armory and so it just makes my life a lot easier I just run around and hit control shift and it picks them up automatically alright I hope that helps guys uh, see you around